Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. With your I'm Father Bill McAvoy. I'm chaplain here at the University of St. Mary, member of the class of 1983, and it's a privilege to celebrate this Jubilee Mass with you all. We're all in this together. We are in communion with one another and with God. Let us begin this Mass by opening our hearts to the graces that God wants to give us from here to wherever you are. Lord Jesus, your Father loves the world so much. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your Father sent you to save us from our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your Spirit inspires us to live a Christian life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory. sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, 
made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from Exodus chapter 34, verses 4 through 9. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. A reading from the word of the Lord. Our response is glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Praise and glory forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Praise you, Lord. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the very first lessons that we learn as little children is to say the words please and thank you. And I know our parents tried hard to teach us to be polite. Sometimes, uh, I know I can speak for myself, I can be a little forgetful. I can take for granted the many blessings that God has given to me. And I know sometimes myself and a lot of other folks, they treat the good Lord as their 911 God, call him only when they're in trouble, only when there's an emergency. But every day we should say to the Lord, please and thank you. Get up in the morning and tell the Lord, please help me through this day, help me with everything I need. And then at night to say thank you. 
Thank you, Lord, for the blessings and the mercy of this day. Please, in the morning, thank you at night. And in our thank yous to God, we should, from time to time, remember to say thanks for the gift of the University of St. Mary in your life. Because here at St. Mary, you and I, we've been blessed. And we have experienced together something very, very important that binds us together as a wonderful family all throughout the United States and in many parts of the world. Being a student here changed our lives. And by God's grace and through the faculty and our classmates, our staff and our coaches, we were privileged to have been given great gifts, gifts of knowledge and wisdom and fortitude. Because of what happened here, we are a changed people. I know back in the early 1980s when I came here, they were trying to make the students here become a total woman. And I admit I did come away a changed person, but not that much of a changed person. But having lived here and learned here, we became better people. And because we are alums of this place, because we went to school here and learned here and lived here, other people have been blessed too. Our spouses, our children, grandchildren, our coworkers have been blessed. Our own students have been blessed. The people we lead, the people we serve have been blessed because of what happened to us in this place. Now this COVID pandemic has changed our usual plans and how we usually celebrate these days. But wherever you are, remember that's where St. Mary is. Now I'm blessed to live five minutes away and, and uh, so often as I'm driving by, I'll just pull in just to drive around the circle and just to look around and so often I'm driving by 4th Street, I'll just stop and make the sign of the cross, thanking God for the gift of this place and asking God to bless all those here, all those who go to school here, all those who live here. Ask God to bless all those going through tough times. And so often I smile and I remember and my heart is filled with gratitude. And I think that's what we're trying to do this weekend that from here in this holy place to the holy place, wherever you are, smile and remember and celebrate. Enjoy your weekend. We will enjoy our weekend here. I know you will where you are and remember the blessings we have received. We as the alumni of the University of St. Mary are forever bound by the life-changing experience that we have received here and that we will continue to benefit from for the rest of our lives. And now we will have our petitions, our prayers of the faithful. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the world, that they would work together to promote the good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our University of St. Mary community, that we continue to form the minds and hearts of all students, allowing them to grow in faith and intellect, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our recent University of St. Mary graduates, that they excel in everything they do, and that they would carry the love of Christ with them always, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for all St. Mary alumni and their families who serve their communities, families, and carry the mission of St. Mary with them always. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially the departed University of St. Mary alumni, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions that we hold deep in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to hear these prayers, those spoken and unspoken. 
We ask you to bless our families and to bless all those who are connected to us. We ask you to bless our lives so that we might be always an inspiration to others. Hear our prayers and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless our day, the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless our day, full of sorrow, they shall be consoled. gifts may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father, and the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service, and make it a means of eternal joy to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. I'm with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, mm -hmm. our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in a unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and the seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Oh, me. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Vincent de Paul, Louise de Marillac, with Mother Xavier, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray together as Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From the chapel here in Maria Hall, the University of St. Mary, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. All creatures of our God and King.